Lesson 6, Unit 5. Stakeholder Management Improvement. As you monitor the level of interest influence from stakeholders, you will find opportunities to improve the strategies to build partnerships, trust, and support. However, the amount of time the project allocates to stakeholder management depends on the size and difficulty of the project and its objectives, goals, the time available for communications, and the amount of help needed to achieve the expected results. Your job is to find ways to keep stakeholders engaged and committed. Define how to win them over or neutralize the position of stakeholders that are either non-supported or skeptical about the project objectives and think about how to engage them and raise their levels of interest. You might identify more opportunities to increase the participation in the project, share some decision making, increase your communications, and you can even identify other key stakeholders who can help you improve the relationship with those stakeholders that are not too responsive to your initial efforts. You also need to look at your communication strategy and review and modify the messages utilized to persuade the stakeholders to support and engage with the project. By carefully crafting the right message, you will show the benefits of what the project is doing and that would likely increase participation and support. You should focus on the high influence, high interest stakeholders first and the low interest, low influence stakeholders last by devising a practical plan that entails effective communications with the stakeholders involving the right amount of information so that there is neither under or over communications. An effective communication plan is an essential component in the strategy to build and maintain relationship and is a requirement for maintaining the support and commitment from all stakeholders. Maintaining good relationship is also about maintaining good communications and calibrating the communication strategy to adapt to the changes in the project environment and the stakeholders. Finally, you need to review and make the necessary changes to each approach, method, format, frequency to communicate. You also need to ask stakeholders for feedback on the appropriateness, usefulness, relevance, and timeliness of the communications they receive from the project. Feedback can provide valuable insight as to what is needed to improve the effectiveness of the communication. Many project managers make the mistake of assuming or thinking on behalf of the stakeholder and develop communications on wrong conceptions about what the stakeholder needs. This can only lead to frustrations and increase the risk of losing the stakeholder interest and support to the project. At the end of each project phase or at the completion of a significant milestone, the project needs to capture the lessons learned in managing project stakeholders. For example, the lessons learned can include the following. A stakeholder analysis is a team effort, not the work of only one person. Review the stakeholder matrix on a regular basis. Stakeholders can change their levels of interest and influence, and new stakeholders can be identified during the implementation phase. Be more receptive to feedback from stakeholders. They can help improve your communications plan and efforts to build support to the project.